Hey guys, this is Water Cooling 101 and we are going to take you from our single simple loop up to our more complicated custom loop. We're going to be adding another radiator to the front of the case and a GPU uh, block. Before we do that though, we're going to have to go ahead and drain our old loop, so we're going to walk you through that right now. Knowing that we would be upgrading our loop pretty shortly, we definitely installed a drain line in our system. So what that is, is simply just uh, T-fitting with an extra tube, a length of tubing coming off and a uh, closed end fitting on the other end. So all you're gonna do is remove this plug drop it in the bucket or set it aside and let the water drain out. Uh, so you've got actually a lot of suction inside the loop that's going to keep it from draining really well. So one thing you can do is remove the plug from the reservoir. If I can get it. I'm going to need a tool. That will allow the water to flow a lot more freely out of the loop. Basically, you've just got a lot of water in the top radiator, and we got some left down in the tube here. Kind of just elevate your different the different parts of the loop to get the water to drain out. And we are pretty clear. We've got a little bit more between the CPU block and the radiator, but that's actually pretty good for what we were going for. Um, you continue to tilt the case around to get the water to drain the different parts of it. Uh, it's pretty simple. You just keep at it until you get all the water out. All right, now that we've got most of the water out of our loop, you can start by just removing the fittings. Uh, so we got the pump here. The little foam didn't stick too well. As you can see, it just flopped right off. Uh, just remove the collars from the fittings. Let's get one off. So things start to Face. You got to keep an eye out though for more water. Uh, there's still a little bit. We know that's in there. Um, it's going to drain out as we pull parts out of the loop. Um, so you just got to keep an eye on it. Um, have some paper towel handy. Uh, something ready to go to clean up any small um, leaks or drips. Um, none of it's going to be a really big deal. Uh, you just want to clean it up as quickly as you can and not let it get too deep into any of your components. Uh, so for us, we're just going to start pulling off all these bits of tubing and get ready for the next stage of our loop. All right, we are good to go. We got everything pulled out of our uh, loop and we are ready for our upgrade. As you can see, we've still got the radiator and the fans mounted to the uh, radiator bracket from the this awesome Fantex Evolve ATX case. That's really nice because you can just pull it out and it's still installed, ready to go. You just got to slide it back in and reattach the tubing. A lot of times uh, you have to pull the screws and the fans and stuff, but with this bracket we are good to go. Uh, we've got our GPU here, our Asus 970 Strix, which we are going to throw an Alpha Cool block on next. So that should be really cool and a lot of fun. We've got our pump, uh, which we're going to use a different mounting uh, bracket. The foam pad with this, the glue just didn't really do the job for us, so we're going to switch to the solid mounts for our next process. Um, we've also got our old tubing. We're going to probably swap that out, put some new tubing in. It's kind of a good idea to just put new tubing in whenever you take the loop apart. Um, it tends to cloud, the old tubing tends to cloud up um, when it's exposed to air after it's had water run through it. So if you want to make sure that you have a good, uh, clear bit of tubing in there, you want to go ahead and remove that and start with fresh. Um, other than that, the inside of the case is pretty much good to go. We're going to be putting a 360mm radiator in the front here, and we'll be putting the 240 back in and our GPU and CPU blocks uh, for this stage of the install. So stay tuned. Hey guys, we just got done rebuilding the Water Cooling 101 rig. This is the expanded loop. We added a 360 radiator to the front of it, and we also added our GPU block to our GTX 970 Strix. Go ahead and check this out. We are just about to get ready to start filling the loop. So this is all empty tubing.
pretty jammed in there, utilized pretty much all of the space this case has to offer. This is a Fantex Evolve ATX. Pretty awesome case, pretty easy to work with, but we're putting a lot of water cooling in it. Stay tuned for the filling of the loop.